Hello, thanks for checking out the Dell Direct Talk blog. This uh, video segment, we're going to be getting Emulex connected, and we're connecting up the Emulex iSCSI Plus NIC Converge Network Adapter to the Dell Equalogic iSCSI Array. Um, to put this into context, um, depicting here uh, our 10 gigabit iSCSI Plus NIC Converge Network Adapter. It's a dual ported adapter, runs at PCI Express 2.0 and our silicon on there allows you to fully offload the TCP IP protocol and the iSCSI protocol at the same time both on port 0 and also on port 1 so on port 1 you see 10 gigabit iSCSI and 10 gigabit NIC just like on port 0 it's kinda like getting two adapters in one um, if you were to buy a dual ported 10 gig NIC only uh, your Windows operating system would show that under network adapters and then if you were to buy only an iSCSI uh, hardware offload adapter you would see that as two separate functions well this is what it looks like when you buy our card exactly the same thing as if you had purchased two um, adapters you got two NIC ports and you have two iSCSI ports these uh, iSCSI ports are full hardware offload of your iSCSI protocol so the operating system is not doing anything other than connecting you up to our adapter running our drivers so you got two 10 gigabit NICs and we're offloading all the TCP IP traffic and all the iSCSI traffic on our hardware so here's what we're going to be demoing in this this video our one connect card in an R710 connected to a power a Dell Power Connect 8024 10 gig Ethernet switch. And that switch then is connected to the Dell Ecologic PS6010 uh, 10 gigabit iSCSI array. So you could also be connected from that switch out to your LAN as well. So you could use our NIC ports for your LAN and our iSCSI ports for your Ecologic connection. Here we are on the R710 server and I'm going into the server manager so I can uh, give you another look at the device manager uh, so you see what the hardware looks like uh, again this is just a single converged network adapter installed into this R710 server under device manager if you expand the ne network adapter section you see a bunch of network adapters and there at the bottom there's the Emulex uh, NIC ports and then if you expand the storage controller section there's a couple more uh, hardware adapters for iSCSI only. So those are the four functions that this Converge Network adapter is offering. And again, this all runs at 10 gigabit speeds. So the next job is to create some volumes on our Equalogic array and hook all this stuff together. So to do the Equalogic part, I highly recommend you go to the Dell Tech Center uh, at uh, online at the DellTechCenter.com uh, and they'll give you lots and lots of information about how to uh, hook up your Equalogic array and configure it. I just wanted to show you um, the simple process of creating uh, in this example a single 200 gig LUN and show you how seamlessly you can integrate the Equalogic management uh, array management with our adapter management. We make it pretty simple. Um, I'm showing here that um, we have a single um, 10 gig Equalogic array set up. There's 16 uh, drives set up in our array. Each of them are SATA uh, solid state disks. And we currently have no connections set up. So this is a, a pretty vanilla array at this point. So we click on our, our volumes section on the uh, Equalogic control panel here. Create a volume we'll go in and, and give it some sort of descriptive name this is all arbitrary and again uh, I'm not the Equalogic expert but you can see how easy even for a novice it is to create create uh, storage here but my point here again is just to show you okay here's here's your Equalogic interface I'm creating an I'm creating a volume how does that work with my Emulex hardware adapter well, this next screen is a real great illustration. I want to limit access to just my iSCSI initiator. So I'm going to flip over to the same server, and I'm going to go over and launch my One Command Manager, which is the free software that comes with our iSCSI adapter. And in the One Command Manager, I pop that open, and there's my card. 
and I'm going to expand port 0. Look at the functions there. They're just like the uh, Windows Device Manager. I expand the iSCSI function because that's what I'm hooking up right now. And that's a, that's a key point. I'm not hooking up the, the NIC function to this array. I'm hooking up the iSCSI hardware function. So like I said, there's four functions here. There's my IQN name in Device Manager. I'm just going to copy that into the clipboard and go back over to the iSCSI setup wizard for my volume. Now I've limited, I've set up my access control list so that only my Emulex adapter has access to that 200 gig one based on IQN name. So now the next step is to go back to our uh, adapter management software, one command, and tell one command uh, and tell our tell the operating system and s configure the adapter to talk to this Ecologic array. And it really is uh, almost as simple as typing in an IP address in a web browser. Uh, again, I'm over here on port 0, and we're treating this function, the operating system treats it as a separate uh, hardware initiator. Port 0 and port 1 are each iSCSI hardware initiators. So what I'm going to do is select this hardware initiator, and I'm going to go over to my target discovery, and I'm going to add a portal. Adding a portal is uh, synonymous with connect me to my iSCSI array. So that's the same IP address that I entered to manage the Equalogic array. I see it right away on my network, and it scans the, uh, you know, goes out and exchanges the security protocols and says, okay, this is what the array is presenting for this port, because I just applied that IQN name. It shows my volume I just created as status unconnected. And there's the full IQN name. The next step is to log into it. This warning comes up uh, because in this case I'm not doing any multipathing. Um, Emulex one command is warning you, hey, if you do this, if you just did this on the other port, for example, you 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 could create a conflict without multipathing software. So, uh, in, if you want to do failover or load balancing, you want to use multipathing software, like MPIO. In this case, this example, we're just doing a simple single port connection to one volume on the array, just to illustrate. Uh, you know, put it in context. Emulex one command and the Equalogic array. So you see there on uh, under the IQN name for initiator port 0 that we're connected to the Equalogic array. On initiator port 1, we're not. I haven't I haven't I simply haven't gone into this one and uh selected the iSCSI login tab. I haven't created corresponding volumes and um, so at this point very simply for port 0, I have associated made a connection to the Dell Equalogic iSCSI array. And that's that's pretty much it from the adapter configurations perspective. It's a few clicks. You go into now now we're in now we're back into the Windows device manager and we're looking at disk management. There's my disk. It's disk 1. There's my 200 gig disk. All I need to do now is bring the disk online. And this is the same process you'd do if you uh, just plugged in, you know, a new USB drive or any kind of a, a new external um, storage device that the operating system has now discovered. The uh, one command manager and our driver stack and the Equalogic manager have made it all very simple and transparent. Basically, I'm presenting storage to Windows. I clicked on on this uh, disk. I initialized it. I'm creating a new volume, and I'm just going to format it. So all of this is, is pretty standard boilerplate disk management. All this standard, uh, I just defaulted everything there and click finish. So after that, um, quick 200 gig volume on my iSCSI array, running at 10 gigabit, 10 gigabit speeds, so screaming fast connection. And what's left is up to you. Um, for the Here's a just a quick example of there's my new volume E that I just created, and I'll just go to my local hard drive and uh, everybody should have a, a nice SCSI array in their in their house I think, and you just copy your movie volumes here. So I picked a, a 1.3 gig uh, movie file for example, copied it and pasted it. You know obviously this isn't meant to be a performance study, but you'd get an idea. You know at 10 gig speeds it's just nothing. You know it's pretty much done before you tried. So hopefully that gives you a good flavor for what it means to take the uh, 
the Emulex iSCSI Plus NIC adapter, how easy it is to configure it, um, and connect you up uh, almost automatically to your Equalogic iSCSI array. Hope this information was helpful. Stop by the emulex.com slash Dell blog again. We'll be doing lots more of this stuff in the coming weeks.